So in the last video, we had set up the content view of an Amazon app with this recommendation section. In this last part, I'll show you how to set up the draw navigator. And we'll also customize the draw navigator to look the way we want it to. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set up this button to open up the draw navigator. So inside our home screen, where we have this icon MD menu, let's put in an on press. And we'll call a method which is provided to us by React Navigation, which is this dot props dot navigation dot navigate draw open. Once we've got that set up, if we click this button here, we see our drawer is opening up. Now let's style the drawer. For that, come to the app.js and here we just import certain things from native base. So we have copied them in. We need the icon, container, content, header, left body right, list and list item from native base. Now to customize the draw navigator, we need to basically create a custom component. So let's do that. We'll say const custom draw content component We'll pass in the props and here we can just create a normal view which will replace our draw navigator. So inside this, let's pass in our container and inside that we'll put in a header. We want to style the header to have the same background color as the header of the app and the same height. So let's say style is equal to background color and we put in that nice blue color and we'll say height of 90. Right now, we can't see it because we've not passed it in. So let's do that. In our draw navigator, we'll have to pass in some properties. So here, let's put in the properties. The first thing which is not required, but we just put it is the draw position, which by default is left. Then we need a content component, which is going to be our custom draw content component. Next, we need three methods that are mandatory. The first one is draw open route, which points to the draw open method, the draw close route, which points to the draw close and the draw toggle route, which points to the draw toggle. Once we have these set up, we can test this out. And there we can see we're getting our nice header. Now let's add a content view inside our container here below our header. So let's say content. And inside this, we'll create three different list views to have our particular items here. For that, I'll just import in flat list from React Native. Preferably we could create one list, but just for this video, I'll create three lists. So inside the content view, we'll put in flat list. And let's close that out. Inside that, the first thing we need is data. So first item is gonna be home, then shop by category, and then today's deals. Now we just render the item, which is equal to curly brackets followed by circle brackets. Inside that, we'll have our item in curly brackets again. Just make sure you get this syntax right. Inside this, we'll pass in a list item, which will have a text inside it. So we'll say text, and that'll be the name of the item. Obviously, this list item can have an on press, which will take us to the particular screen. For now, I haven't put that in. So if you open that up, we're getting our three items here. And what we'll do is we'll just get rid of the borders by saying no border, and there our borders are gone. You can just disregard this error for now. It's just telling us that each item must have a specific key. So you can just put in a key here for each item. We'll just copy this flat list and we've got three flat lists now. I'll quickly just change up the values. So there I've just added the list items. What we'll do is we'll also give a nice border to the bottom two flat lists. So here, let's put in a style and say border top width of 0.5 and a border top color of a nice gray. There we have it, and we'll just copy this on our bottom flat list. Now if you just refresh this and have a look here, we'll just zoom that in, and as you can see, we've got our three lists with that nice border. All we're left with is the header here. So let's put in the text there. So inside the header, what we'll do is, we'll put in a left, which has a style of flex of one. Inside that, let's put in an icon of name person and style it to have a color of white. Let's close that out. There we're getting the icon. I'll do the Android fix also after this. Then we'll just put in a text here, which will be the name of the person. So it will be hello, Varun. And there we're getting the text, but we're not getting in the place we want it to be. So let's style the text. So the style is equal to margin left of five, font size of 22, 
color of white and a font style of italic there and let's put in flex direction of row here so that they come side by side and we'll also align the item center for Android we'll just copy in this fix that we have which is Android header come in here at the bottom inside our styles let's put in Android header let's import in platform from react native and status bar and let's just add that to our header here so put that into an array and let's say styles.androidheader that shouldn't affect our iOS design so this completes our styling of our draw navigator I hope you guys try this out I'll share the code of this on my github page thank you for watching please like and subscribe